Hello everyone, welcome back to the Learn Daily Physics. Assalamu alaikum. And today we have started a new lecture series of chapter number 3, F Chan. And the chapter name is Plasma as Fluid. And today we are going to introduce you that why we are studying plasma as fluid. What is the purpose of studying this chapter number 3? So let's talk about the fundamentals first so the fundamentals mean that uh, some basic terms of plasma that how we can study plasma what are the uh, some what are the theories that we can follow to study plasma how plasma phenomena behavior of plasma can be understand by different theories so we have mainly three different theories of plasma uh, we basically call them fundamentals of plasma so the first one is kinetic theory and the second one is fluid theory and the third one is particle picture theory so uh, when we talk about the kinetic theory we have studied our previous chapter of uh, single particle motion in that single particle motion we have applied electric field and uh, some electric field and the magnetic field some non non varying electric field and the magnetic field then we have discussed the motion of that particle its velocity term its acceleration term its uh, different terms that theory was related to the kinetic theory of plasma now we are going to do what we are going to do we are going to study about the fluid theory okay then what is the reason why we are studying this fluid theory we will discuss now so what is the particle picture theory and we will also discuss this at the end so look at this equation that uh, as we look at, at the Maxwell equation this is the Maxwell equation third Maxwell equation I think this is also the Faraday's differential form of Faraday's law and this states that curl of E is equals to minus partial B by partial T it is I gave you this analogy from myself to make you understand that how electric and magnetic field helps to understand plasma as a fluid and uh, why we are studying plasma as a fluid so let's have a look that we write this curl of E is equals to minus partial B by partial T okay now we have seen in our previous chapter that when electric field uh, we have made a graph like this and uh, a, the gyration for the particle is like this some cases and uh, somewhere it's like up where it gyrates the only thing that you have to keep in your mind when you apply electric or a magnetic field the, the particle show gyration like this now what we are going to do is we are going to do what the main thing we have to understand is what that del mean okay del what this mean this is equals to partial by partial x i component plus partial by partial y j component plus partial by partial z k component okay this is this del basically this del is equal to this term so when we solve this left side of this equation it will be equal to let's talk about this partial by partial x i component plus partial by partial y j component plus partial by partial c k component and to curl off this is cross product of e of x i plus e of y j plus e of c k when you will take the determinant or when you will take the cross product from the determinant you can say that you will uh, take a determinant like this i'm not going to solve it but the next term you will get you know that the cross product the is also called the vector product and the product is all always a 
vector so the product will be let's say that curl of e will be equal to a x i plus a y j a y a x a y a z could be any value so a z k now you can see that there is an i component that it is depending upon i component j component and k component means that there is a position dependence in this equation here okay there is a position depending factor here position some position is involving here we have some i j and k components some position components here when we talk about our right side our right side is time varying component this component is magnetic time varying magnetic field it shows us that the motion of some magnetic field around some time uh, so now from this equation if you understand simply this equation if you can understand you can say that electric field the, the change in the position of electric field the curl of electric field is resulting in a magnetic field so when an electron moves it elect, its electric field around some region changes okay because of this motion we also have seen in the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction when a charge flows through a body it induces a magnetic field around that body or that conductor so this electric field produces a magnetic field so in plasma when ions move when electron or a positive ion they move they generate a magnetic field okay so now what is the problem why we study fluid plasma as a fluid so the density of plasma is the main thing comes here the density of the plasma is 10 power 18 ions electrons per meter cube 10 power 18 this is a huge factor okay so 10 what 10 power 18 means 10 power 18 means that you have a box of meter cube box its volume is 1 meter cube this meter cube this meter cube and that one also is meter cube here we have 10 power 18 ions electrons pairs okay okay in this box of one meter cube this means that we have a one zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 we have this much electron ion pair in this box okay so when we have studied in our previous lecture the single in our previous chapter single particle motion when we study the single particle motion we have some tricky equations so when we have to deal the ele electrons single particle motion is more tricky for us to understand but when we have to understand 10 power 18 electron at the same time it is impossible for us to understand we cannot elaborate every particle we cannot demonstrate we cannot examine that particle 10 power 18 this is a huge factor we cannot do all that factors to explain the phenomena uh, a plasma behavior we have to understand every particle but we can okay so this is the problem this now what is the problem this is the problem that this factor the density of plasma is so large that we cannot examine every particle okay so then what is the solution 
this is the solution plasma as a fluid is the solution so now we consider that the plasma is a solution plasma as a fluid and we say that we we assume a crude model for this plasma which provides us the 80 which which elaborates the 80 percent of the plasma behaviors so let's talk about now now the physicists have seen that 80 percent of the plasma phenomena observed in the real experiment can be explained by a crude model so this what is a crude model now let's talk about that crude model a crude model is a model which is not processed or is in a raw form so to understand this crude model we have some analogy like uh, we have crude oil we say that we have a crude oil uh, what crude oil is crude oil is not refined yet it is the natural model you can say that this is a natural model or some general model not processed model we have we haven't done anything on that model so just like we say that we have a crude model of a bicycle so what is we have tire brake and a handle we will say that a handle we have a handle a tire and a brakes so we just don't go in further details in the crude model crude model in the crude model let's see that what in a fluid dynamics fluid mechanics crude model is <coughs> so this model is used in the fluid mechanics and in the fluid mechanics what this model say in this model the identity of the particle is neglected and only the motion of fluid is taken into account that uh, we talk about uh, let's elaborate this sentence what this sentence means this sentence means that we have a crude model of a bicycle okay so we say that this is our let's say this is our uh, bicycle okay so what happens that we say that we have two tires here and a seat and a handle also we just don't say brakes and anything else what happens that we don't talk about the thickness of the tires we don't talk about the material we use we just don't talk about anything else we just say that we have tires and handle and brake and seat and whatever necessary things are so in the in the fluid mechanics we say that we have some particles we don't say that we have ions of plasma okay ions of plasma we just don't say this thing we say that we have a particle for example a point particles like this and we study their effect these particles move here what is the equation of continuity then we will talk about the equation of continuity of uh, about the plasma in our next lecture so then we will see that because of this model what is the equation of uh, fluid plasma and many other things then it will make you more clear about this crude model what this crude model is but now till now we can simply say that this is a general model uh, where we we can get we only discuss about the effects we just don't discuss the particle in detail we discuss its effect in detail so i hope you can understand what i'm trying to say is and uh, our lecture our introductory lecture is uh, over now and i hope you've understand everything in our next lecture we are going to talk about the equation of continuity for the plasma in fluid dynamics in the fluid uh, plasma as a fluid okay so thank you very much for your time assalamu alaikum and till then see you next time